G'day folks, Steve from Vintage Restorations Australia here. In today's video we run through how we go about painting the caravan and reattaching the original badging. At this point we've finished polishing all of the midsection of the van. The roof and the bottom lower half are to be painted which requires masking off all the nicely polished section through the mid. So any section that's not to be painted should be masked off, including the lights around the windows and the hatch, uh, pretty much to prevent paint getting on your polished clean sections which are finished. What are you up to out there, Marchin? I was just dextering the van. <laughs> This section of uh, new aluminium where we've replaced the corners, you can see down here it's quite shiny and new. To get the paint to stick to that you need to just give it a little bit of bite. We're going to use an etch primer, but uh, I also like to just give it a rub with these scotch Bright pads to scuff up the surface a little bit, not too much. So something like a, uh, you know, a 120 uh, wet and dry paper or a, one of these scotch Bright pads will give you just enough bite. So basically rub the entire surface of that down and it helps remove any grease and grime and residual oil. We're going to clean that with acetone when we're finished. Marchin's up there solvent cleaning, getting rid of the residual stuff before we shoot a bit of uh, etch primer onto the roof of the van. This is pretty much ready to be painted now. It's all been solvent cleaned after it was rubbed back. Uh, so it's been solvent cleaned with the paint thinners. You can use acetone, but we had the paint thinners, so that's what got used. We're going to use this RFU etch primer. It's a, a Dulux product. We're using all Dulux products because the, uh, the colours that we wanted were Dulux, so we've used the complete Dulux system, which is um, pretty good for um, for caravans. We're going to finish with an epoxy enamel, so this is um, suitable for uh, an epoxy enamel. Uh, you need the etch primer to go on to the aluminium. We've set up these two plastic um, pouring jugs, uh, one with 60 mils and one with 600 mils. So we're going to make a 10% thin uh, on both the etch primer and the epoxy enamel over the top. Um, that just makes it a bit easier to spray. We're using a gravity feed uh, low pressure spray gun, um, spray brush, spray thing, whatever you call it. Um, so that needs to be thinned by about 10%. Always make sure you uh, stir your paint very thoroughly. Uh, you don't add the thinners to this patch, you want to keep this uh, clean. Um, pour that off and then mix the thinners in. There's the etch primer shot, we've just got to give that a rub back in the morning with uh, some wet and dry and then uh, we'll do the next coat. This is about as exciting as it gets rubbing back paint. Uh, it takes a long time, it's pretty tedious but it's got to be done properly. So use clean water, keep your water pretty fresh all the time and uh, renew your paper as it needs to be renewed. You don't want to scratch it and take up too much surface but you need to flatten it out and get it nice and ready to accept the first colour coat. Uh, once the colour goes on, you're going to repeat this process of rubbing back the first colour coat with, uh, with clean fresh water and, a, and a, probably a 220 grit wet and dry paper to smooth it out before the final coat goes on. Once you've fully rubbed back, you've got to wash all of that uh, paint off all of the uh, stuff that you've sanded, it's all got to get come off, so uh, give it a good old rinse. Get it all off. So before we do the final coat, we're going to rub it back with a wet and dry again. Um, the paint surface is pretty good. 
You can, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's quite a smooth, nice finish with the enamel. Uh, it still needs a little rub back just because there's some little tiny dusty specks and stuff. So we'll cut that one more time and then shoot the top coat. Once you've sprayed the top coat, it's best to leave that paint for about a 24 hour period to dry and cure and do its thing uh, before you start add, adding logos and badges. Yeah, we've reinstated the old car park sticker that came off the back. Uh, this was actually a foil sticker stuck on. We couldn't remove it, so we cut it out of the uh, the old sheet, and it's still on the original aluminium. And we've just stuck a couple of little rivets in there to put it back. So here we're just reinstating the original superb badges that uh, we've cleaned up, polished, and uh, repainted. So just popping those back on with a little rivet as per original and it does look superb and there's that other superb badge it's a little bit uh, a little bit worse for wear that one a bit oxidized through but anyway it's the original badge and it is a 64 year old van So that's it for this video folks, we hope you enjoyed it, uh, we think the van looks great, certainly the customer was very happy with it when she picked it up. Uh, this kind of brings to an end this little series of 15 episodes that we've been doing where we follow the, uh, the big parts of this restoration. Uh, if you've got any questions about it, as usual, pop a comment or a question or whatever down in the comments section below, we'll endeavour to answer whatever we can. Uh, from here we'll be doing other restorations. So. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We appreciate those of you who have subscribed. Um, it costs nothing to subscribe, so just hit that subscribe button and follow our adventures. Um, anyway, that's it for today. As I said, um, we'll see you next time. Till then, take care of yourself. Bye.